Now, I'm the first one to admit that I get a bit confused with Infinity's new naming structure with all the Q's and the QX's. This used to be called the JX, the three row seven passenger crossover vehicle built on the same platform as the Nissan Pathfinder. Now it's called the QX60. And we're here in San Antonio, Texas, getting a chance to drive it for the first time. And I gotta say, I really do like the way that Infinity is going with their styling. It started with the Q50 sedan uh, several years ago, and they've taken that really sleek look an aggressive look to their cars and morphed it onto this crossover vehicle. And from the angle you're looking at it right now, it looks like a big sedan more than a big chunky crossover vehicle. So the front is all new, new headlamps, new fog lights, uh, new grill, new bumper, and those are HID headlamps that come as standard equipment. Around the back, you get a more cohesive looking bumper and tailgate design. It all looks like it's made of one piece, new tail lights as well. So I think on styling, Infinity definitely has a winner with this QX60. Wheel sizes, 18 or 20 inches. You see 20 inches on this particular model. Nice touches of chrome. It definitely looks like the upscale brother to the Pathfinder. This Infiniti is built on a shared platform with the Pathfinder on the Nissan side of the family. But when you look at the front here, you can tell this is a different product. And the materials and the way they put it together, Infiniti does a fantastic job. The switches all feel high rate. Same with the soft touch materials. And what's new for 16, they've gone with a stitch leather upper dash, which comes standard on all of these QX60 products. In addition, they've gone to a new shifter here in the center console that uh, they've started to use in some of their cars. It's migrated here to this crossover vehicle. A nice looking rich combination of colors and textures. So the rest of the interior stays the same status quo. And there's one issue I have with the back seat. When you get into the back seat, when you have these fully power operated seats, the bottom of the seat leaves no room to put your feet underneath. So if you're sitting in the second row, you can't slide your feet underneath. And the other thing is your hips are much lower than your knees. So you sit with your knees high and your hips low and you can't stretch out. That's okay for shorter trips, but you go for a five hour drive in this car, you wanna be able to stretch out and you can. So all I ask is that if you're looking at this product, check that out. If you can live with it, then it's not an issue. Moving forward, there's a seven and a half inch screen here. We don't have any updates yet for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Infinity tells us that this is an upgradable system, so hopefully when that's released into their products, we'll be able to get that. There's no wireless charging, but here's the thing is, all of this stuff has happened so quickly in the auto industry. Even though this is a refresh model, it's hard for the manufacturers to keep up with the pace of change. Sure, this is a three row crossover vehicle, and what I like is the power operated third row of seats. You push the button, the seats go up automatically. There's a bin under the floor, it's quite large. There's a subwoofer in there that steals a bit of space, but that's all functional stuff. So what changes do they make to this QX60 in terms of the way it drives? Well, two main ones. One is uh, quietness. They put acoustic glass in the windshield and the side windows so less noise comes into the cabin, which plays into Infiniti's luxury side. And then they upgraded the suspension, uh, the wheels and the tires to give it a more dynamic feel. Now, on that front, you can feel more of the road surface coming into the cabin, which gives you a connected feel. But in the steering department, it really is still kind of vague on center. So they've improved it, but not to the point where I would absolutely run out and buy one of these. This is gonna be for somebody that likes what Infiniti also offers, which is the premium aspect, the quietness, that's the kind of product that this Infiniti is now. And when you drive it, it feels more like a big sedan than it does like a crossover vehicle. So uh, I would say they're eight tenths of the way there. If they could improve the steering feel a little bit more, I'd be, I'd be happier for sure. Powering the QX60 is a carried over 3.5 liter V6 with 265 horsepower and 248 pound feet of torque. The power goes to all four wheels as standard equipment in Canada, first through a continuously variable transmission. Yes, there is a sport mode to sharpen things up, but this is more about cruising than performance. Fuel economy is rated at 12.2 litres per 100 kilometres in the city and 8.9 on the highway. Now with most car companies in Canada, their smaller cars and their compact crossovers are their best sellers. Not with Infiniti. This is their best selling product in Canada because it really is a nice combination of practicality 
and the luxurious sporty look that Infinity is trying to portray. A couple of things I wish they had. There's no Android Auto, there's no Apple CarPlay. I hear they are coming, but you might have to wait for an upgrade. Also, there's no wireless charging for your phone. All of these things that change in the auto market so quickly, even though this is a brand new product, they still don't have them. The bottom of the seats in the second row really is an issue for me. That's one of the things I want anybody who's thinking of buying this vehicle to check out. Can you live with not being able to slide your feet underneath? It seems like a pretty simple thing that's being overlooked. But this is the best selling product from Infinity, and with these new changes, especially on the outside, I think it looks fantastic. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe. To watch a review of another seven passenger three row crossover, the all new Volvo XC90, click the picture on the left.